Hi YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a cracking day. Hope all your friends and family are all safe and well. Uh, we've been to Asda today. We've picked up the product. It's the McCain's Street Fries and this is the pulled pork uh, variant of them. So we're gonna go down to the worktop and see what's involved. So we've got the McCain's Street Fries pulled pork, the pulled pork even, <laughs> get my teeth in. Fries loaded with a pulled pork, honey and mustard sauce, ready to eat in minutes. So the instructions is fries, add the honey and mustard and pulled pork, and then step three is garnished. So we've got uh, two cooking options, which are oven 14 to 16 minutes or microwave at seven minutes. I'm gonna go to the uh, traffic light system and have a look at the nutritional information. So I think this is per 300 grams, so per pack basically. So we've got 510 calories, 18 grams of fat, 2.7 grams of saturates, 11 grams of sugar and 1.5 grams of salt. Let's see what else is on the packet if anything. Um, not a lot there, it's just about contacts in them. We've got the recyclable content, which is the sleeve tray, but not the film. We've got the how to cook. So remove out of packaging, set the garnish aside to defrost, loosen the sides slightly away from the sauce in its tray. Oven bake at 230C, 220C fan or gas mark ice. Eight. Place tray of fries directly in the middle of the shelf of the oven, bake to 14, 16 minutes. Um, shaking halfway through, place the tray of sauce uh, on a microwave plate on full power for 900 watts at two and a half minutes, eight at three and a half minutes, and four minutes at 700 watt. And if you're microwaving it, place the trays of the fries and sauce by side on a microwave plate, cook on full power, once piping hot, remove from the microwave uh, and 900 watt, six and a half minutes, 800 watt at seven minutes, 700 watt at seven minutes and 50 seconds. Uh, more of the nutritional information if you'd like to pause that for further information. And the ingredients, so we've got potatoes, which are 54.6, red onions at 5.7, and pork at 4%. So the allergens are wheat, Milk, eggs, soya, nuts, celery, sesame seeds, molluscus, and crustaceans. So why would you have crustaceans? Or oh, perhaps it's cooked in a factory what has the same thing. But I don't think you'd have um, crustaceans in this. But anyway, so I'm going to remove the packaging. Scissors to open this up. So it says remove the packet to defrost. So as you can see there, we've got the chips. That must be the pulled pork, and that must be the seasoning. So I take it you cook them, put that on top of the fries, and then sprinkle the. Um, seasonings on top so if you want to get a better look at that so i've just reread the information so what they're saying is just cook the, the fries in the oven and then you've got to cook this um sauce tray in the microwave separately okay i'll be back with you shortly right so these chips have just come out of the oven and obviously the sauce pot as well so i'm just gonna put a bit of my own salt on here season let's get this sauce pot let's give it a right good stir first now i'm gonna try and evenly distribute this as as well as i can <laughs> just want to get every last drop out there so it's not a little smear over. I 
Right, now we've got this seasoning packet, which by the looks of it looks like chives and red onions. So I don't know what the best way is to get this out, but does this all stick into the packet? But I'm gonna try my best. You know what? It's the right pay up the back side to get through. Get out of the packet. It all sticks to the side of the packet. Right, so anyway, that's the product in this fullness. I'm going to go up to the camera and I'll be back with you in a minute. Right, so we've got the McCain's treat fries. I'm going to try and get a, a full load to give it a go. Tell you what, it's really nice. It's really tasty. I'm gonna go in for another one. Right, so we've got obviously the chips. The pork pork is a sweet barbecue flavour. Um no heat or spice to it. Um, you're getting the slight crunch from the chives and the mini red onions. Um, just gonna have one more. Yeah, it's, it's really nice as it goes. Like I said you got you get a, a sweet barbecue flavour. You're not it's not a smoky barbecue sauce, it's just like straight sweet barbecue sauce. Um it complements the chips well because you get a sweetness added to the chips with the salt as well. You get a slight cl uh, crunch from the onions. Um you can sort of pick up the chives but not greatly, but an all round combination of the flavours like to see there's not a lot of this uh, pulled pork I mean you're getting it's very a little amount but I think it's what's making it like a nice flavour is just the barbecue sauce itself adding to the chips right coming to the coming to the price point now here's a sticking point three pound The other day, it's 20 pence worth of chips and a bit of tight, a, a minuscule amount of pulled pork and a few chives and onions put on top. Um, you can be the judge of that one. Um, if you want my personal opinion, I think it's overpriced. It's a nice idea, it's a nice product. Don't get me wrong, but I think it's sw slightly higher on the price point for what it is. I mean, you could quite easily do it at home for a lot cheaper you know if you had them other ingredients in the fridge you know even if you've done it with cheese and bacon or whatever it may be i think they actually do do a cheese and bacon one funny enough um but as a quick easy snack tasty snack ratings out of 10 i'd give that a good eight and a half out of ten god it's, it's a really nice product i ain't gonna lie about it it's a nice flavored nice tasting product it's just sadly the price point is it's in my opinion just overpriced what it is um would i buy it again i would it's not saying that you know i probably could eat every week but it's nice as a treat in a once in a while um so it's a thumbs up for me on this one i recommend this one personally for my taste um what else i can't really say much else about it you know, you get a small amount of chips, the barbecue sauce with a very, very small amount of pulled pork. You'd be lucky if there's a, I don't know, a tablespoon's worth of pulled pork in it, in a whole dish. But when you add it all together, it's, it's, it's a nice flavour. Yeah, it's really nice. So, um, 
on to the next video. Thanks for taking time watching these videos. Um, take care. Bye-bye and have a lovely day.